Hey guys and girls, it's Nathan Birch here from beinvestor.com.au. You're probably wondering what I'm up to today and where I'm driving to. Let me first off by start saying, I'm not going out to some shithole. I'm actually here in my neighbourhood in Norwest, Bella Vista in Sydney. With it, I'm going for a drive out to Penrith at the moment to actually meet up with one of our property investment agency clients who's just about to settle on their property tomorrow uh, out in Penrith. It's May 2014, let's get correct, it's May 2014 and the property market is very hot. Things are selling, you cannot buy properties for $200,000 today and uh, this property that is settling, uh, we have secured for two hundred thousand dollars it's a one bedroom unit a rental figure on it at about the two hundred eighty dollars per week we'll be getting for it and the uh the property was purchased just recently because it's settling now um we'll be out at the property shortly is out at penrith um just for some comparable sales one bedroom units are selling for around the 250 in the penrith area at the moment looking at um, properties that are you know recently selling the cheapest thing I've seen selling is some dodgy old studios that are you know being snapped up around the two hundred and twenty thousand dollar mark uh, on the highway X house commission for studios this is a proper one bedroom uh, about 48 49 square meters internally plus garage and all that sort of stuff um, yeah so if someone wants to say you can't buy properties at the two hundred thousand dollar price range today we are. If uh, if you don't think the properties are still out there, they are. Uh, just as they have been over the last decade that I've been purchasing, I've been purchasing properties when people said, Nathan, why are you buying a three bedroom house in Western Sydney for 180000 You're going to go broke. You can't make money on it. It just goes to show and reinforce the fact that deals are still out there. Uh, whether it's 2004, whether it's 2005, whether it's 2006, whether it's 2007, whether it's 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2014, where we are today, or whether it's going to be in another 10 years. So with it, we'll catch up shortly out at the property, have a look at the subject, run through it, see what things are with the property, and uh, we'll go from there. I'd, I just want to get on these video cameras to show you what other people are doing. I've done a lot of stuff on myself over the last few years, uh, showing you what I've been up to personally, and you know I've been very transparent with the properties that I've. So guys, we're out at the property, just coming through. This property was just recently purchased. It's settling tomorrow, May 2014. One bedroom unit, uh, purchase price two hundred thousand dollars. Got a living room here. As we come through, we've got kitchen, been updated probably the last 10 years. Doesn't make any work going to it. Lovely floor tiles. Internal laundry. Even got my thongs on. <laughs> so we come through. Fairly new floorboards. Main bedroom. Make it sound like we've got heaps of bedrooms here. It's the main bedroom here, built in row, ensuite main bathroom. So as we can see, deals are still out there, relevant in 2014 to be able to be purchased. Doesn't matter where you're at with your property portfolio, this is the sort of stuff that I was purchasing back in 2004, 2005, 2006, up until now. Still purchasing the same sort of stuff. We'll catch up shortly, have a look at some other problems we're buying. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to YouTube. Chat to you soon. Bye for now.